Hi everyone, welcome back to Lovely Lavender Wishes. It's Renee, and I hope you're having a very great day and blessed day today. So today, let me show you, okay, what we have accomplished so far. Um, goodness, so we made our tassel uh, using BB Craft items, and that's gonna hook to the side here, the spine right here. We sewed our butterflies on here, so this is tassel's gonna hook here. We kind of finished our um, cover here. So let me move this to the side. And we started working on these. So let me show you where everything is going to go. So it starts making a little bit of sense. So I still have to embellish the book, but the booklet is going to slide in here. Let me move all this. So this will clasp like so right there. This is the front cover, the back spine, and the back of the book. So it's going to be pretty thick. Um, this will poof up once we start embellishing that. So you open this up like so. Your book will be in here. We have a pocket here for pens, pencils, notes, what have you. Like I said, this will be embellished, so that'll start getting thicker, and we'll do all the embellishments last. I'm kind of thinking on this one. Um, let me move all this. This part is where these are going to go. And I took this idea from, oh gosh, Victoria Designs. They put out the video of kind of um, uh, vintage uh, patchwork type of uh, journal that kind of closes like this. And I'm taking some of the ideas from that, but then I'm kind of going my own way. Um, but you need four sections for this part. And I waited to put anything down here because I wanted to finish the cover and put my brads in and everything. So that is done. I'm gonna wait now until I get these finished. Um, and those are going to go in here with like, um, uh, what is it? Like a fabric flip type thing. So these will be flipping with fabric in here and that's gonna all sit right in this spot. Um, we did this and so you can put another journal or writing in this spine and then we are going to start working on the uh, little insert that's going to go on this side. Okay, so let me show you what I did with these. Now, I think I showed you how to do a couple of these on camera. Maybe it was this one. So we tie this and don't worry, all this is going to be hidden and this will all be embellished. I haven't embellished these yet. Um, but here's the string that kind of holds it together. So this opens up. We have a pocket here. This flips open to a pocket here. I should probably just grab a pocket here. And then we made the little kind of window. And I put some lace here on the side. So this is like a little tuck spot here. This is a pocket, a deep pocket up here. It goes all the way down. And then this flips open. You have journaling spot here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that flips open into, I don't even remember what aisle did, y'all. Big pocket here. And then like a tuck spot here. Then we have a pocket here. And I used one of my cards from your creative studio box. And then this flips open into more journaling area. And you have like a little side tuck here. And again, I have not embellished any of this yet. So close it like this, like this, like this, and then it ties. So that's the first section. Okay. Then I made this one kind of the same way. The um, strings on the back, all this will be covered eventually. Um, of course, I always have problems. Let's not make that into a knot, y'all. So that opens up. Again, I showed y'all how to do this little window, super easy. So this is a big pocket up here. This flips open, journaling. And one thing I did, y'all, is I took some masking tape to reinforce um, the creases. I just tore masking tape, you can see it here, tore it and then used um, some ink and just like distressed it up. Um, cause again, this is like a very distressed type, uh, journal. Um, so it, it doesn't all have to be perfect y'all. So this part flips open again into 
you know, like a little tuck spot here. This flips open into a large pocket here and journaling on this side. And then I made a fabric flip on this side with just, um, I just sewed it willy nilly, you know, I, I didn't want it to be all perfect. So I kind of stopped, started, stopped, started um, with some fabric and a lace fabric flip. So you can put pictures here or journal. So it closes like this. And again, this is not embellished yet. I'm gonna go back through and embellish it a little bit more and add the tags and such. Haven't even gotten there yet, y'all, <laughs> little by little. So there's that one. Uh, this one, I did embellish just this part right here because I showed you how I did some stamping um, and putting together some of these little, uh, let's see, all these like uh, fabric pieces and such for the journal with some chains or with, like little, little bead embellishments. So if you haven't watched that video, watch it. I show you how I do these with some stamping and some BB craft items and chains and such. Um, this one, I did a double window. And this one, I did a fabric pocket. Um, and all I did, if you can see here, there's a piece of paper here, like reinforcing the fabric. So the fabric was sewn, or this lace, I guess it's not really fabric, it's lace, um, was sewn on, um, glued and sewn on. And then, so that this piece of paper here kind of gives it the sturdiness it needs. Um, but then you also have this big pocket right here. So you have this big pocket right here with this little um, fabric um, embellishment. This opens into a big tuck spot here and then a big pocket, it's a deep pocket, goes all the way down here. And then this flips open into like a top pocket and journaling space right here. So that's a third section. And then the fourth section I have here, and you make them all the same way. I showed you how to make these in a video. So this is just, all these papers just kind of are hooked, see, like just hooked to each other. And again, this back piece will be reinforced um, with another piece with probably pockets on it for the for all the flips. I'll show you how, we're gonna, I'll show you how we're gonna put that together. So the fourth piece is another big window and then whoop, big pocket right here. This flips over into a pocket or a side tuck here and a side tuck here. This one's got a side tuck here. Some lace sewn across this part. You flip this part open. You've got journaling or for a picture here. Here we have just like a little side tuck, little mini side tuck there. Again, um, different torn pieces of masking tape to reinforce the edges. And then you've got this for pictures or journaling and you've got this big old side tuck right here. So you can, you can put tucks or pockets or anything on any, on any of these. You can decorate them in any way that you'd like. So it goes, this one closes like this. See, so it goes like this, like this like this, like this. So there's gonna be a lot of little tuck spots and pockets and such in this whole big journal. So that will all fit right here, okay? And now today we're going to be working on what's gonna go here. So let me move that. Okay, so to get started, I was kind of goofing around y'all. So I'm gonna show you what I started and did. So I took a file folder and I'm gonna use blue since you know I had some blue file folders and blue is gonna go perfectly with this journal. So most of it will be covered with paper anyways or fabric or what have you, but anything showing will have the blue edge. So what I might do when I start decorating these is maybe cut the paper, the pe you know the pictures or whatever, a little bit smaller than the blue because I think I might want a blue edging around this. But anyways, all I did was take a blue file folder. You can use any kind of file folder you want. And the first thing I did, okay. so here I have everything like <laughs> paper clipped so I remember where everything's at. So here's the top of the file folder right here, this piece. Ignore this piece here, let me just. So there's the top of the file folder right there. 
okay? And all I did was take the file folder and I measured, not even measured, I just kind of tucked it in here and I knew I wanted to fit in this part. So whatever you have here, whatever size you have, grab your file folder or paper or whatever you have, fold your piece of paper in half and then make sure that it's going to fit in here. So I measured it, see, and this will slide perfectly right in there. See, then the next thing I did was just bend it to to fit so it goes to right about here see there's the here's the you know seam right there so i wanted it to go like that so all i did was fold this part this way and this part that way so now the whole thing fits perfectly right in that section see that easy peasy so i just cut the file folder in half folded both sides so i have one half going this way one half going that way Okay, then the next thing I did, so this was the bottom of the file folder, the part that got cut off, two pieces. And so the next thing I did, so here was, you know, it was if it was folded all the way over somewhere like this, you know. <laughs> this is the file folder all the way across. And so I had this bottom piece, and so then what I did is just measured a piece. I took make sure I had like a little edge on the back so I can glue that to here. Like so, so this is gonna get glued here, but I'm keeping everything apart right now because I'm going to add papers and pockets and sew and all that, and then I'll glue it all at the end. But this piece is gonna go right here. So I just kind of measured it. I didn't want it to go all the way to the end here, so I just cut it right there and gave myself like a little piece to glue on the back. So this part will flip open like that, that will flip like that. This will flip open like this. And then this is gonna pull out like that. And then this other piece right back here, this was the other bottom part of the file folder. What I'm going to do is eventually sew this to here. So what I'm going to do is cut this off. I only did, I only went up to a certain point because I wanted to show y'all what I was doing and to make sure that I remembered what I, what, you know, the pieces that I needed to do here. Hang on a minute. This goes like this. Make sure it's all where it needs to go, otherwise I'll forget. Okay. So this piece, this extra piece I had, I want to eventually, this is gonna go right here and sew here. And this is going to be a little pocket part right here, a big pocket. So this will get sewn as a pocket. Once I decorate, I put the papers on and everything, then I'm gonna sew it all. So this will be a big pocket and then this will have the back as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure this now, not measure, but really just kind of to the edge here. Right. Make sure it's all straight. Across the bottom. I don't know. We'll cut it and then if I can cut it again. I'm just trying to line it all up. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but so this is going to go right in here. Okay, yes, no. So it is not. It's a little wonky. We'll figure it out. <laughs> little by little. So right now I'm just getting all the pieces together. This really helps me because <laughs> Then I can just go in and go, okay, I know these two pieces go together. These two pieces go together. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a pocket here, you know, that kind of thing. I could always cut that down a little bit more if I need to. Okay, so this will be back here. I'm going to, like, cut a little, like, thingy out here eventually. Um, yeah, I'll wait until I get the paper on, and I'll cut this out like a little notch there, so then this will be a pocket here, okay? So this will come out like that, so far. Ugh, 
And this piece, I think it's this paper clip, does not want to stay. Okay. So then, so that, that was all one file folder. And then I have these little pieces left. We can make tags out of these or what have you, but that was one file folder. So I grabbed another file folder. And what I'd like to do is add more to this. So let me take that off. So I want to, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do yet. I think I'm going to add another piece that's going to Oh gosh, y'all. I don't know what I want to do here. I knew I know I want to add some more. Another piece is going to So this is going to flip out like this. This will be a pocket. Maybe have another piece that comes up this way. And then folds back that way. So, if I do that. Okay. So now I'm going to measure this. Okay, here's the end right here. Put the line right there. So I'm gonna cut this down so it's the same size. Probably should just get my, my, my big cutter, but I'm too lazy to go try to find it and get it. Okay, let's move that. This, figure out what I want to do here. So, if this is going to go hook to this, come across this way and pop back that way. Yes, okay. So, this part, mm, hang on a minute. Okay. So on this file folder, I'm trying to think aloud. Yeah. Okay, so on this file folder, you got these um, little ridges here. You know, that helps you kind of, that, you know, score marks, I guess. I am going to use one of these. So I'm gonna go to the smallest one. And score along that or just bend that. That's gonna be my already made Spine. See, there's my spine right there. See how I did that? That is going to go right here. So my spine's going to go there. And then this piece. Okay. So I'm going, I'm measuring here. That's going to go, the spine's going to go to the end of there. And I'm going to give myself a, about that much so I can attach, where's my pencil? I'm going to give myself like an inch over. And I'm just going to cut this down. And that is going to attach to the back of this. So I'm trying to I'm just drying up. I'm going to take this. I should get my score. I'm just gonna go like this. You know what? I probably should get my, let me see. I do everything the most difficult way, y'all. I'm gonna score this. And then bend 
it over. Use my bone folder. It's still kind of wonky. This is going to get glued. There we go. Now that piece is going to get glued to the back of this. So this will get glued right about there like this. And this is going to come over like this. And there's our little, and then maybe let's just have another piece. Maybe this will go on the inside. So right about here, I need to score. I hope this is making sense to y'all. I'm just fooling around and figuring out a way that these can bend in and out and make extra layers and what have you. So this will go attached to here. Let me grab a paper clip. Here's our little spine right here because I'm going to have another little like journal area in this part. You know what though? I wanted this to come out even more. I should have had it come out from here. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, don't do what I just did. So I want it to come all the way out to the very far. Because if, I, if it goes in here, then this whole part is shorter than the main part. I wanted to like kind of finish it off. So we're gonna have uh, another spine here, which will be fine. Or I can even put a piece of paper over this and we won't have that, that scored part. There. The little spine is right there. Okay. Hope this is making sense to y'all. Okay, so let's see. Let's put it all together and then we shall see what it looks like. So here is the whole little booklet, but there'll be so much more added. We'll have like pockets and, and such. So it's gonna open like this. This will be attached here. So it's gonna open like this and like this. This part will open like so. This part This part will open like so. Got too many paper clips everywhere, y'all. So it'll come out like that. This will be a pocket. This will be attached here. This will come out. This will come out. And then you'll have your little spine in here. So this will come out like so. This will flip over like this. I know y'all. You're all getting confused. But you don't have to do it exactly like I do it either. So this will be attached back here. Here, let me do it this way. Maybe this will hold it better. This will flip out. This will flip out. This will flip out. So it's going to be a bunch of like little flips. And you'll see how it all comes together in the end. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, let me just put this on here because otherwise I'm going to forget. Okay. But in this little spine part, this little, this little part, I want to do another little like little journal in here. So you have journal writing in here. And we're going to make like a little book. And this will be the front. So 
in here, we're going to put, um, I'm going to reinforce this with um, some masking tape as well once I get all the pages in. But um, I'm trying to think. So in here, we're going to have another thing of string. I'm going to probably put some eyelets in here. Um, and then you can have another little journal in here. But I was also thinking of making a little booklet. We can even put this little booklet in there. Yeah, that's what I'm probably going to do. Okay. So let's, let's work on a little booklet. So I'm going to be using two things from your creative studio um, box. Let me move all this. Because I want to have a lot of writing places in this. A lot of little hidden pockets, a lot of writing places. But I got this um, loft book collection series, all these papers from your creative studios. And then I also got all these... Um, Real, there's, these are harder, uh, like cardstock, heavier cardstock um, pieces. I think those are so cool. And these would make, this would be cool on the inside too. If I glued this and sewed it. So for a journal spot, yeah, now that I'm seeing that, I'm going to do that. Okay, so let's use those. So I'm using these pieces and then this, and we're going to put together like a little booklet. Now, a lot of people always wonder, like, how do you put together booklets with like just plain pieces like this? I'm going to show you, I mean, there's a variety of ways you can do it, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. This is going to be my cover. This is going to be the back cover, and this is going to be the inside cover. And I'm going to just glue this quickly. I'm going to sew it all eventually as well. So it'll look cool and we'll embellish it as well. But since this is going to be the back cover, this is the front cover. I'm going to put these two like this. And this is how I do the papers. So I take one page like so. And let's just grab some random page, another page like so, and I grab some masking tape. You can use masking tape, you can use other pieces of paper, you can use ribbon, fabric, what have you. I'm gonna do fabric uh, for the cover part, but for this part, I am just going to do whoop, masking tape. And I'm leaving a little space in between You see that little space right there? So it will stick a little. I'm leaving that and I'm cutting down the masking tape, top and bottom. And I'm gonna do a few of these. So I'm gonna get a bunch of these set up. Let me just move these to the side. They're so cute, love these. So something like this, you can journal on one side, put a picture on the other side, or cover this, or embellish it, or do whatever you want. So I'm just kind of doing them all like this. You can do like this. So yeah, let's do a few differently. So then maybe you might want to journal all the way on both sides, and then do pictures on the other side. I'm running out of masking tape, y'all. I'm just grabbing pages willy-nilly. Oh, that's cute. Let's do that. So some I'm doing this way. You can pick and choose. But I'm just going to make like a little booklet. Oops, that's a little too much of space. Come on. Try that one again. Let's 
I'm going to go through and probably uh, grunge them up with some ink and embellish all my books and still got a long way to go on this uh, butterfly journal, y'all. A long way to go, but it'll be fun. It's a fun journey as we are going. Okay, let's do a few more. Let's do one like this. I need to get some more masking tape, that's for sure. I think I have another roll somewhere. This one's an old roll and I kind of like it because it already looks a little grunged up. It's starting to yellow on me. <laughs> so it's perfect. I don't even have to do anything with it. Let's see. And then some of these pages look all really grungy themselves. Let's do both of them up this time. You can do this with anything. So if you have other little pieces of paper or, you know, actually, I might look and see what other kind of pages I have. I thought I got something else in, let me see, the Your Creative Studio box. Let me see here. I know we got some of these vintage notepads. Let's put a couple of these together too. These would be cute. Um, ooh, yeah, like that one. Ooh, this would be a good journaling. Let's do those. So that was another Your Creative Studio vintage notepad. So you can do the same thing with these. Now these, I wanna make sure that they're about the same height. doesn't have to be perfect. Let's do a couple of those. Let's do this one I'm going to cut from the top. So we'll put a few of these in here too. Same thing. I'm gonna kinda, let's do, we'll do two like this and then we'll flip one around. Oops. Uh-oh. Ah. Okay, let's. I love masking tape, y'all. You can use it for so many things. <laughs> Oops. I don't want that big of a gap in the middle. Oops, now it's, well, maybe I will have that big of a gap in the middle. <laughs> oh, Lord. Didn't want to tear the paper, so. Okay, so I'm just kind of, we'll put one in the, one there. See what we have here. 
So here's your little booklet. You've got all these pages. Look at all that already. And then I might go in and do some stenciling or some I'll spray some coffee on some of these white pages, or I might keep it white. I don't know. I'm going to kind of fool with it and see. But this is a way that you can get, like, put together a little booklet with all these sheets that are, like, single sheets. So let me move that to the side real quick. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going to bring this over. So here's the cover, and we'll embellish the cover eventually. And then this is going to be the booklet part. Right like so. Let's make sure that that's kind of in the middle. Kind of seeing how this is gonna all fit. Okay. Okay, I'm going to grab this fabric and let's cut maybe about that wide. <laughs> tear it's gonna go all the way around okay I'm just gonna grab my glue stick some along this edge I leave a little gap in the middle there and I'm going to take my glue this is all going to get sewn eventually um, so right now the glue is just to hold it Pulling it around. And then I'm just gonna cut that off. And it's gonna come around this way. And make sure it's kind of in the middle. So when you bend it, that's gonna be your spine right there, inside and outside. And then this is gonna go in the middle here. So line up that. And then you are gonna bind this just like you would any other book. And actually, I'm thinking yeah, I'll just do the wax. Okay, let me grab. Oh, where is it? Okay, I'm gonna grab my brown wax. I'm gonna grab my pokey tool. Okay. So I've got my big pokey tool here. And I'm gonna do three, so one in the middle. You know what I'm thinking though, I do want to sew this first. I guess I can put that under the sewing machine and sew that. That'll still work. Whoop. And I'm gonna put, oops. You know what? It would be helpful if I had clips. Clips will hold it a lot easier. go. 
Okay, I'm going to have to find my needle. So I'm just going to, so there's my holes. I am going to, let's see, I wonder if this needle will work. It's a tiny needle. Let's just take that out. We'll see if it, this will work or not. Usually what I do is I do two length fulls and then I might want to put some beads on this. So I'm going to give myself some extra. I'm going to go right about there. It's about maybe three length fulls, length, lengthwise fulls, I guess. Oh my gosh, y'all. And I haven't done this in so long. Let me see if I can remember. I think you go through the middle first. So this is a wax thread. So you take your needle, put it through. Oh, I don't want to make a new hole. Come on, there we go. Put it through the hole. Make sure you hold this part so it doesn't go all the way through. <laughs> and then you're gonna come through the top. right now. I haven't done this in so long. Let's see. Did I do this right? Do I go through here? Hmm. I do not remember. Or do I go all the way down and then through the middle? I think I, you go all the way down. Well, we'll try it and we'll see what happens. So go all the way down. Where's the end of this? And then you're gonna go from that one, go back to the middle. So you have this in the middle. Usually what I like to do is bring the thread here and tie it so this, this will hold this down. So I go in, tie it, I'm gonna, tie, double, I'm gonna do another knot. And there we go. And then we have this. So maybe if I wanna put a charm or something on the end of this, I'm gonna leave this for now until I figure out what I wanna do. If I don't wanna do anything, I can make a bow here or something like that. And there we go. So then you have another little booklet here that we can embellish. Now, this one I'll probably end up tying. I'll use the, the string or this string. I'll use this string. And that's going to go in this part where we had that little um, spine here. So there'll be like another little journal in here that's why you want to give yourself a little bit of a spine if you're going to have like a lot of poofy things or another little journal you want to give yourself some space so that's why you always want to give yourself like a little bit of a spine there um this spine will not be here once i get the paper on and glued and all that so this will be in here so we'll have another little journal and I'll embellish this a little and sew it up and all that. So this will be removable as well. We're gonna have the string in here. I'll make little holes and then that will be a little tie and that can tie that. So then if you ever wanted to add another little journal or something, we can do that. So there we go. <gasps> that was like on the fly, y'all. Like I really had no plans for that whatsoever. So um, now this is going to go What is going to be a big book? This is going to get tied in here. It's probably going to, like, the, the tie will probably tie down the middle of one of these and tie this in so it doesn't slip out. Or it, or we can maybe just slide in. It's just going to depend how big and thick it gets. So this, this whole removable piece will be here. 
that will be removable. There'll be another journal here. And then those four pieces that I showed you, I will show you how to get those in here. This is going to go in there. So all this still needs to be embellished. This definitely needs to be embellished um, or at least like set up. So I will, in the next video, show you how I'm going to put pockets and decorate this part, and then we'll embellish that, finish embellishing this, finish embellishing that, and then add it all together into the book. So this is how it's going to be eventually. It's getting there, y'all. It's getting there. And they will not slip out because they will all be tied in their spots. So I'm excited. We're getting there. A couple more. Well, a couple more, a few more uh, videos will accompany this series and then we should be done and I will have a flip through. So hope you all are enjoying this and kind of seeing where this is headed. Um, but yeah, with these file folder things, you can make flips and, and pockets and whatever, any way that you want. I was just kind of fooling around with it and trying to see what all I can do with just two file folders and I even have pieces left over. And then now I'm gonna find all my, my paper and we're gonna like start embellishing this and sewing and making the pockets and, and what have you for this. And then we made our little, our little booklet in here and this will get sewn up and embellished a little as well. Awesome. So thank you all for joining me. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.